Hey guys, it's Sandro here. In today's video is a look at the Meguiar's new hybrid ceramic range which includes their hybrid ceramic liquid wax, their hybrid ceramic spray wax and their hybrid ceramic detailer. I'll be going through the application and uses of each specific product here as well as looking how you can successfully layer and combine all three products over one another. But apart from that, I'll also be putting these products through their paces to evaluate them in areas such as their user experience, gloss levels, slickness, hydrophobic behavior, potential durability, and overall value. So that when it comes time to spending your hard-earned money on one, you can make a well-informed decision. So let's have a look at the individual applications as per Maguire's direction, starting with liquid wax. Now obviously, you want to make sure that you're applying it to clean bare paint. But if you've applied any liquid or paste wax in the past, you'll find that the Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Liquid is pretty much the same application. Apply a couple of drops to a foam applicator, dab it into an area about a square meter or so in size, and then you can either use circular or overlapping horizontal and vertical lines, which I personally prefer, to work it over your section, ensuring you go over each area with multiple passes to get a nice, even, uniform application. Allow the wax to stand for a few minutes and then take a clean microfiber cloth and gently wipe the excess product off and continue to repeat this process around the rest of the vehicle. I'll also add that like all the products here, liquid wax is also non-staining so you can use it on plastic and rubber trims as well. Next is the Hybrid Ceramic Spray Wax. Now this is a little more tricky to explain as you can use it a few different ways. So for an initial or foundation layer, Meguiar's recommends applying it to clean but wet paint with just a couple of small sprays in the same sized area. Then take a microfiber cloth and spread the wax over your section evenly and with a second microfiber cloth you immediately buff it streak free. And once again you'll just repeat this process over the rest of the vehicle. The alternative application, which is more of a quick top up of hybrid ceramic wax, is to once again make sure that your paint is wet and then just simply spray the wax on and immediately rinse it off with your hose or pressure washer. And this method can be used over your foundation layer or over a layer of the liquid ceramic wax. Lastly is the hybrid ceramic detailer. Unlike the previous two waxes, this isn't a standalone paint protection product but rather a way of maintaining those products and your car's paint in between applications of the liquid or spray wax after maintenance washes. So in essence, you're gonna use it over an existing paint protection product. But also, unlike those two waxes, you can work the ceramic detailer into larger areas with ease, such as a whole car panel at a time, by using a few sprays over your section and then immediately spreading it over the panel and buffing it down streak free. And it's really as simple and basic as that to use all three of the Meguiar's hybrid ceramic range. With that out of the way, I'm now going to discuss what I've personally discovered about their user experience while I'm applying them on this next test panel. Firstly, I'll say that Meguiar's has really nailed the ease of use with liquid wax. It's just so crazy easy and forgiving to work with, and that's comparing it to just about any other Meguiar's wax or sealant. I even tried applying it in direct sunlight on my own car, and although I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, it actually worked fairly well. Now it's not going to haze over like a traditional wax or sealant, but it will almost instantly flash and dissipate like most spray sealants as you work it in. Meaning that based on my testing, it really seems to instantly bond to the paint, even though Meguiar's recommends you let it sit for a few minutes. Now there's no harm in letting it sit because if you leave it on a little longer than you should it still seems to wipe off super easy. But at least based on my personal testing there doesn't seem to be any benefit in doing so as far as look, behavior or durability goes. But just to be clear it was applied on this test panel as per Meguiar's instructions. For those of you that saw my review of Meguiar's hybrid ceramic wax you'll know that it tested and performed far better when I applied it over dry bare paint as opposed to the recommended wet paint application. 
And since I do prefer to base my judgment on my own personal results and experiences with products, I'll also be applying it here in that same dry application. Now you will perhaps tend to find it a little easier to apply over wet paint, but all in all, it's still nowhere near as easy and seamless to apply as the new ceramic liquid wax. And that's not to say that it's all that bad, but more so to do with how great the liquid wax is by comparison. However, the spray wax is obviously going to be far easier to apply if you use it in the spray and rinse method. But once again, based on my own testing, it feels a little like a waste of product, as it really doesn't seem to perform anywhere near as well in a spray and rinse application. So I wouldn't personally recommend it, but you're obviously free to use it in that manner if you wish. The new hybrid ceramic detailer is again quite a nice and easy product to work with. As mentioned, I had no issues applying it to whole large panels at a time, but I would say that in direct sunlight, you may want to stick to working smaller sections, but you can still definitely use it with a little caution in direct sunlight, which I really wouldn't recommend for the hybrid ceramic spray wax. It also definitely feels a little nicer than the other two under your cloths as you wipe it down, and with a little spring in your step, you could definitely go around the whole car in under 10 minutes. Whereas you'd be looking at more like half an hour or so with the other two. And I did also try it out as a drying aid after washing my car, which it seemed to add a little more lubrication and work extremely well. Now on the fourth and final section, I applied all three products over each other as a comparison for testing. You'll also see that I gave each layer an hour to cure before applying the next top layer. What I personally found was that if I layered the products too soon, I had a few issues with them sometimes smearing a little and being a little difficult to level down streak free. But after an hour or so of letting them cure, I had no issues at all. So I would say that all three products do tend to cure quite rapidly, but they still need a good hour or so to get there, or maybe even a touch longer if the weather is a little cooler. After allowing the panels to cure over the weekend, the first test was evaluating the gloss and saturation levels that each product creates on automotive paint. Now as you will hopefully be able to see for yourselves, all three products do in fact look great and have all been able to quite noticeably add increased levels of gloss and saturation to the paint. It's actually super close between liquid wax and the spray wax, so much so that I almost have to call it a dead heat but if you were twisting my arm, I might say that the spray wax just looks a touch better. But I'd also note that if you do intend using the spray wax over water or in a spray and rinse application, you'll probably find that the liquid wax looks far better. Now although the ceramic detailer doesn't look quite as good as the other two, it still looks quite amazing for a quick detailer and a lot better and closer to the other two than I would have expected. Now the section that has all three products layered does look the best, but it's honestly not that much better than the two sections with the liquid and spray wax on their own. So what I would say is that those two products are what's really going to give you that amazing gloss foundation, and the detailer may just give you a slight increased bump in gloss if used over them. Next was evaluating the slickness or lack of friction that they create on automotive paint. Now in the whole realm of car waxes, sealants and quick detailers, I'd say that they sit somewhere in the middle in relation to their feel or slickness. But in relation to each other, as you would expect, the quick detailer definitely has the nicest and slickest feel out of the three, and it does in fact feel really great. But between hybrid liquid and spray wax, it was again rather close, but the spray wax did tend to show a little less friction than the liquid wax. The next section with all three layered did feel and behave rather similar to the quick detailer on its own, which makes sense since it has that same product on top. But interestingly enough, it did also seem to feel and behave just a touch better, so it would appear that layering all three products could potentially give you the ultimate slick feel. So onto some hydrophobic testing to evaluate the water behavior of all three products. Now as you guys continue to have a look at some diverse water spray patterns being introduced onto the panel, you'll hopefully be able to see that as a whole the hydrophobic behaviour in all four sections is actually very impressive overall. 
The water shedding rates are quite rapid and the water bead contact angles are very positive with nice rounded pearl like beads which you'll see in a bit. So I have to say that it looks like Meguiar's has really put a massive emphasis on getting this whole ceramic range to display some rather great hydrophobic behaviour. Now out of all three individual products, the quick detailer isn't quite to the level of the other two, as it does sheet the water a little slower and its beads just aren't quite as propped up. And I'll also say that although the liquid wax seems really great, it's still not on the same level as the hybrid spray wax which is definitely the best overall, having the quickest water sheeting of the bunch and the best water bead contact angles. Now on the fourth section that has all three layered, it's actually almost identical to the section with the spray wax. So what this tells me is that the quick detailer isn't going to mask or degrade the amazing water behavior that the spray or liquid waxes have, which is fantastic to see, but it's rather just gonna help maintain them. And if you've seen a few of my past videos, you'll know that many quick detailers do in fact degrade the performance of the sealant or coating they're applied over. So although all the products are quite good in relation to their hydrophobic behavior, the hybrid ceramic spray wax does seem to be quite exceptional by comparison. The final test was a chemical resistance test to try and evaluate how resistant these products will tend to be in relation to environmental contamination and exposure. As per usual, I'm using CarPro Multi-X at a 1 to 5 dilution ratio and I'm going to start by lightly hitting the panels with the chemical and then progressively getting more aggressive with each subsequent application. Now as you guys will hopefully be able to see for yourselves as I continue to hit this panel with the chemical, the detail spray, as expected, was the least resistant to the chemical overall. But it honestly wasn't all that bad for a quick detailer and held up a lot better than I would have expected. However, I must say that I was a little disappointed with the liquid wax. There was only just a slight step better than the detail spray and well below par for a wax or sealant with a stated 6 months durability claim. And I want you guys to understand that I did test these products before making this video and the liquid wax just seemed to consistently perform this way and show little resistance to the chemical. In complete contrast, the hybrid spray wax was very impressive here and it took several hits of the chemical to start breaking it down which was almost identical to the section that had all three products laid over each other. So it really seems to me that based on my testing, the ceramic spray wax is really the durable product here. And although layering them may help improve other qualities, it may not necessarily improve environmental resistance or durability.
So as you guys have a look at the water behavior on the red test panel, I'll just sum up this video with my personal thoughts. When I first tried Mogwai's hybrid ceramic spray wax over a year ago, I really liked it as when I tested it in areas such as gloss, water behavior and durability, it was in my opinion the best wax or sealant that the brand has ever produced. And the fact is that I don't think that's changed with the addition of the new liquid wax. The liquid wax is super nice to apply and it does look almost as good as the spray wax, but that's where it really seems to end, as its hydrophobic behavior and even more so its chemical resistance is a little underwhelming. But if you use the spray wax in the suggested spray and rinse method, and I did test that out guys, you'll probably find that the liquid wax is much more closely matched or even better than the spray wax. And it seems like Mogwai's is really pushing that application method to be used on top of the liquid wax. Now I'm not trying to purposely contradict Mogwai's as it is their product and I'm sure they've tested the heck out of it. But I really don't see the point of me making these videos if I just regurgitate what Mogwai's says and don't give my honest opinion that's based on my own in-depth testing. And that really suggests that the hybrid ceramic wax is still the real gem here but only if you use it in a spray and wipe method. Lastly, I think the new hybrid ceramic detailer is another fantastic addition to the ceramic range. It's super nice, easy and speedy to use. It looks great and seems to just boost the paint rather than mask what it's applied over, which is exactly what a quick detailer should do and be in my opinion. Now being based in Australia, these products like all of the Meguiar's range aren't cheap. And at that price point, there are extremely viable alternatives that likewise perform well. But I know Meguiar's is a lot cheaper in many other parts of the world, so value is really going to depend on what they personally cost you in your neck of the woods. But in saying that, I personally found great value in both the spray wax and the detailer, but not so much in the far more expensive liquid wax that also comes in a far smaller quantity. But like I mentioned, that's just my opinion and I'll be interested in hearing yours. As always, I really hope you guys enjoyed and found this video useful. Please share this video, like, comment and subscribe to this channel to show your support for this content. And I'll see you guys soon.